All right, guys, let's can some potatoes. When you guys are cutting, you always put something wet underneath your cutting board. I've seen so many injur injuries. So I'm just going to cut these in cubes. We're going to hot pack these. If I'm really rushed for time, I will uh, um, cold pack them, but I have time today. If I get time, I might do a can or load of um, french fries as well. Got my. I do these in quarts because well we can eat at least a quart. Sometimes I take out two. And um, that one's pretty big. Um, at least one uh, quart for a meal. So. And in my bowl is just some fresh lemon water. Just while I get my water up boiling over there and I think canning is a, a lost art. My mom and I, before she passed away, we used to talk about it all the time how like it's evolved because she couldn't believe some of the stuff that you know you can do she was just blown away she would tell my aunts and stuff because I mean they used paraffin wax when they were kids and stuff that you know if you look if you think about it now that's like turning your jars upside down well you know as science changes because really, that's all canning is, is science and know-how. I just, look at the inside of these potatoes. Like, they're just so beautiful. I love this man's potatoes. They're so worth the $30, guys. So worth the $30. I'll buy two more bags. And they will last us all winter. Like you don't need many of these for dinner. That is for sure. And I don't care, guys, if they're the same size. I'm not. I mean, this is cooking. This isn't. I'm not cooking in French restaurants anymore so easy By the way, that celery stock smells amazing. It's sitting on my dining room table. It's so funny. And then um, my oldest son was helping me move it over. I dropped the lid and I broke the, I broke the handle. Like, it hit carpet. Like, how is that even possible? A little bit more, guys. And then once my water comes up to boil, I will... Uh, dunk these. I do mine for three minutes. You do yours for whatever you want, three or five. But I'm going to get out my Bernardin book and just double check times and everything. It will throw some onions in some. My husband loves onions. But they're all fairly good size. All right. Okay, I'm going to get everything shifted around here. 
That should be enough to fill my, I think it's eight jars, six, seven jars, sorry. And then uh, if not, I'll do some more up. All right, I'll be right back. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put these potatoes in here and once they've gone, I checked the Bernard book on 392, it says white potatoes. Um, bring and bring to a boil over medium high heat for two minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then take oh bring small cubes for two minutes. I think those will go for three minutes. And then until heated through but not soft, drain and disregard cooking liquid. Pack hot potatoes in hot jars. And then we're gonna dump this and put fresh water in it and then I'll use that pints go for 35 minutes and one liters go for 40 minutes and that's what I'm doing is one liters all right so that's what I'm gonna do get my good old spider here I have not added any salt or anything to this it's just water to keep moving them. This pot's starting to get really old. It's almost time to make it into an herb planter or something. It's getting pretty thin on the bottom. Canning pots don't last forever. I wish they did. Because they're expensive. I just I just look in um, oops yard sales and stuff, but I always check the bottoms. But there's not much, like if you go to our local market, like you can't even buy a bushel of anything. They have, it's just, it's weird. All right guys, this pot is not full, but the water's. So I'm gonna bring this back up to a boil for two minutes. And then I'll bring you back when I'm ready to fill up jars. All right, guys. So I have, I'm gonna start filling my jars now. Uh, I'm just gonna have to tuck you guys over a little bit. There we go. Now, I got my potatoes in this bowl and I got my jars in hot water here. Like so. Now, I'm going to do a couple of these a little different. I think I'm going to do some herbed canned tomatoes, or potatoes, tomatoes. I got tomatoes on the brain. And yeah, I've got a tablespoon of garlic. And I got some parsley and some rosemary. We're gonna add a little bit of salt. We need one inch headspace, guys. I'm gonna make sure I have enough headspace there. My potatoes are still hot. I got water in my canner with a shot of vinegar as well so this is my little mixture here I'm just gonna add a teaspoon of it I thought why not it's all fresh from here ground up garlic and stuff I thought we'd try it I'm experimental today apparently and I'm gonna do a teaspoon of salt Get our water over here. Shut that loud thing off. Oops. This is just fresh water. I use well water. I use what, what we have. I 
don't know. Thinking we might need another teaspoon of that herb mixture. Not very much in there. Yeah, let's go. Let's go a full tablespoon. There we go. Change it up. So we're gonna debubble. That's kind of pretty. I got a paper towel here with vinegar on it. This will be interesting to see what they taste like. Cause breakfast potatoes, I uh, I put those kind of spices on them anyway. So I thought, well, what, why not try it? See what happens. I'm not going to do all of them like that. Make sure I get through all that, all those potatoes. Move them all around the best I can. wipe the rim and I've washed all my lids here fingertip tight and into the canner Now you can use wide mouth jars. I kind of save my wide mouth jars for um, um, meat and stuff. I'll be doing that in a couple weeks. I'm gonna have a couple canner loads here, I think. Do. Some in pints, I don't know. You guys ever just kind of start canning and then you figure it out as you go? That's... We use a lot of liters here, so... Alright. I'm going to do this one as the herb ones as well. Put a tablespoon of that in. Put a teaspoon of salt. I don't know, what do you guys think? Think that looks good? Deep bubble. Definitely to the one inch. Now I got two here because I was using herbs and I thought if I end up getting too much on the on the rim here, I have a fresh one over here, vinegar on it, fingertip tight. That's kind of pretty. Oh yeah, I definitely have way more kids. <laughs> That's alright. I'll get them jarred up. I'm not worried about it. Like so. What's your favorite thing to can? I think... Mine is tomatoes. We go through a lot of tomatoes. I use them a lot. But I enjoy making soups too. My husband's not a big soup guy, but we all are. And then a teaspoon of salt. I was raised on good, good soup, good homemade soups all the time.
one inch of headspace, the bubble. Oh, guys, I'm going to take that one out. Yeah. Make sure these jars seal, right? Go through all this trouble. You definitely want to make sure stuff's going to seal. There we go. I'm going to get my clean one here. Can you imagine these in your cast iron front frying pan with a little bit of rendered lard, like home lard, with the fry them all up and then drop some Parmesan cheese on them? That would be tasty. make something called smash poutine here and I use these potatoes you guys want to see how I make that let me know I'll show you how I make smashed poutine smash potato poutine. it's so good it's not a very health conscious meal in any way, shape, or form, so don't expect it. But it's just a different way to use your canned potatoes. All right, so I got three of those. I'm gonna stop at that for the herb potatoes. The rest I'm just gonna do normal. guys I got three more jars to go after this one I'm gonna get the canner loaded and then I'm going to uh, bring my canner up to pressure vent. hmm sorry I'm gonna take this potato out I'm not comfortable with that there and uh, I'll bring you guys back when I'm pulling them all out of the canner. Sorry guys, I meant to say I'm also going to uh, pressure can these for 40 minutes. Yeah, 40 minutes for one liters. Okay. Like I said, I'm just gonna get these jars filled up. And then uh, I'm going to bring it up and let it vent for 10 minutes and then let it get up to pressure. All right, I'll, let, I'll bring you back when I'm all ready. All right, guys, there's my jars. And I only have a little bit of potatoes left. So we'll just probably have those for supper. So there they are. There's the herb potatoes here's just the regular potatoes but yep I'm gonna get the lid on let it vent for 10 minutes and then I'll let it pressure can for 40 minutes at my altitude of 10 of 10,000 and I'll bring you back as soon as they're popping out all right guys so now we got the potatoes in the canner we have a steady Dream of steam. I have to say that so slow. Okay. I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes. Oop, 10 minutes. Okay. And I'm going to let that vent for 10 minutes. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But anyways, it is steady. And then I'm going to let my gauge go up to 10. Like I said before... I run it about 11. I like having that little bit of give with an electric stove. But yeah. And then as soon as this is done venting, I will close this and watch my gauge. 
and then set it for the 40 minutes that I need to pressure can it. That's some good stuff in that canner. I wonder what those herb potatoes are going to look like when they come out. It's going to be interesting to see. All right. I will bring you back as I'm taking them out of the canner after it's cooled down. I actually wait for this button to go off before I even touch my canner. Because there's, there's a lot of heat on the bottom of this glass. So those are just the safety precautions I do. Um, when canning on a glass top stove. I just try to be super careful. I don't move my canner. I don't shift it. I don't do anything like that. All right, guys, I will bring you back as soon as these, this is cooled down. I can take the lid off and I'll remove my jars. Here we go, guys. All out of the canner. Still doing the bubbles. Look how much water they absorbed. And we boiled them. As you can see, they're still boiling. So there's the herbed ones. Back up a little bit. There's the herbed. There's the regular. Move over here. Sorry, we're in the middle of a thunderstorm. Okay, there they all are. All right. Well, if you like liked the video, hit the thumbs up. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next one.